Visco. Hey everyone, welcome to the Visco channel. Today I'll be showing you how to set up facial recognition using the HIK Vision AcuSense DVR IDS7216 HUHI M2X. To enable this feature, you will need an X series DVR along with any analog camera. For this demonstration, I'll be using the DS2CE16 DOT EXIF, a 2MP bullet analog camera. The X series DVR I'm using supports facial recognition for up to 4 channels of analog cameras and can store up to 16 face picture libraries. One key feature of this DVR is that even if the hard drive gets damaged, your face picture library remains intact. This is because the library is backed up on both the hard drive and the flash storage. In this video, I'll walk you through the configuration process for setting up the facial recognition, followed by a demonstration. Towards the end, I'll also show you how to search past events using the face match and face mismatch filters. Now, let's move on to the configuration part. Now, I'm going to show the setup of face recognition using this type of DVR model. The firmware version that I'm using is this, V4.03.701. For face recognition to work, you have to enable the face capture function in the VCS settings for which camera you want to use at. As you can see, you can set up the arming schedule as well as the linkage action you want to do. You can also play around with these settings such as capture interval, capture times, sensitivity, and generation speed. But by default, you can just click the save button here after enabling the face capture. Next, go to face picture library. Firstly, you need to create a new library which you can set the name of the library. So at my site, I added a library which is called technical. In the library, you will need to import the person's picture that you want the camera to be recognized at. Make sure the picture is not larger than 1 MB and it is in JPEG format. So in this case, I already added a person which is my friend Jacob into my technical library. You can also import and export directly the pictures from the library as well. Other than adding face picture manually from PC locally, you can add directly from face captured as well. To do this, you have to go to search human face mismatch and you can select which person that you want to add directly add into library. So here I add a person that is in mismatch directly into the face library. So when I go into face library, the person that I added this now should be appeared. The last setting you need to do is go to event, face picture comparison. You need to make sure that this is enabled. Here you can play around with the settings as well. For the face picture library, you need to make sure that you tick the correct library and you can adjust the sensitivity as well. Same as face capture, you can set the arming schedule, but for face picture comparison, there are extra linkage methods, which are for face match and face mismatch. After that, click save, and now the settings are all done. Let's test the face recognition. To search for face match events, navigate to search human and select match under the search content. This will display faces that match those saved in the library. For face mismatches, the results will show the faces that do not have a match in the library. So that's a wrap for today's video. Hope you found it helpful. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Visco's YouTube channel. See you in the next video. Bye. Visco.